Hey Leos, Yana Speaks here, and in this video, I am doing your love reading for the month of May 2019, and these readings are general, so they may or may not resonate with you, so if you find that this reading does not resonate with you, then it would be in your best interest to book a prior reading with me. All of the information to do that will be in the description below. So, uh, another thing, uh, Leos, um, what was I going to say? Gonna say? Yeah, at the end of this reading, I'm also going to do a reading on your finances, all right? So let's get started. So what important messages do Leo's need to know this month? All right, so we're starting off with the King of Chalices reverse. So I feel like, you know, the important message that's standing out to me already is that you're definitely dealing with someone whose emotions are blocked. Um, you're dealing with someone who is very emotionally manipulative. Um, this may be someone who has like drinking problems. Someone who may have went through a lot of trauma in their childhood. Just someone who is not, they're not offering their emotions to you. They're not, you know loving on you this person like love is just blocked for them okay so it could be a situation where you love them and they don't love you the same way i'm kind of getting I, i'm getting a message intuitively like unrequited love like one-sided love but we're gonna see as i keep pulling okay see the picture here yeah honestly guys the cards i'm pulling ain't good all right this person i feel like this is unrequited love i feel like you want happiness and success and marriage with this person and their love is blocked okay um i feel like this person is super flaky they're very in and out not consistent at all um you know they say whatever they have to say to get what they want out of you their emotions are not involved at all not even a little bit um i do not like their energy okay i feel like this person is going to hurt you i honestly feel that way i feel like they're going to hurt you okay i have the two of wands here i feel like th their 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 whole attitude and their mood is that they feel like there is better out there for them for whatever reason and their attitude is like, I wonder what else is out there. I wonder if the grass is green on the other side. So it's like, it don't matter what you do, this person is still going to feel like there's better out there. So I'm going to keep going into their energy. Even though I don't really like their energy right now. I'm going to keep going into it though. Sorry about that. So please tell me the overall energy for Leo's. Yeah, Leo's. I, I don't I don't like this reading at all. Okay, so Leo's your overall energy is that you're dealing with a fuck boy or a fuck girl, okay? You're dealing with someone that you are very passionate about. This is probably someone who's very popular, well-respected, well-known. Um, they are full of, you know, charisma and charm. And they just have, like, this magnetic, like, thing about them. And it makes them very powerful. And they know how to have power over people. And they have a lot of power over you. So much so that you feel stuck. You feel like you're in prison and you don't know what to do. You're like, you know, I see that this person's playing the fuck out of me, but I don't know how to move forward. I don't know how to shake them. This person has like a hold on you. All right. I do feel like the issue here is that this person is not committal with the King of Pentacles reverse being here. 
um they they're non-committal i feel like the the relationship or the love connection between you guys has become stale it's become routine it's become very practical um there's like no forward movement i feel like with the nine of pentacles one of you which i feel is more them would rather be alone who this person feels more secure being by themselves they feel independent they feel like they don't need nobody they don't want nobody okay and i feel like the the issue here is because this person has that attitude there is a lack of equal give and take there is a lack of things being fair you know i'm seeing one person giving way more than the other one is giving and i feel like you know leo you see it for what it truly is but i feel like with the death reverse is like you're resisting letting this person go you're resisting the ending um you're resisting a transformation you're resisting you know your new beginning you just you're like i'm not i'm not trying to have this end um but it doesn't look good leo so i'm gonna be real with you um this could also be vice versa so this could be, you know, you taking on this energy, acting like this with the person you're dealing with, just to let you know. But I, in these, are, I, I don't see it going good. I'm gonna be real with you, okay? So now let's get into how this person is feeling. So how does this person feel about the Leos? Yeah, there's a third party situation going on here. I was feeling that so strongly when I'm seeing all of them cards about a lack of commitment and a lack of like emotions being asset, but I just don't want to say it in that third party. Yeah. So <clears throat> basically they feel, you know, they feel stuck. They feel trapped in this connection. They feel like, you know, to be serious with anybody would be literally like being in prison you know this is the type of person that wants to be free they don't want to feel like they're tied down at all you know they don't want to have to answer to nobody and honestly this person doesn't feel like it's worth fighting for this to them this is a burden that they would just rather release it's like it's an uphill battle for them you know which is crazy because i'm not seeing that they're doing anything to even feel burdened by the situation because I feel like you guys are the one that's been given and they haven't been given shit. But I'm just telling you what I'm seeing. Um, and I'm going to be real with you. I feel like this person feels fulfilled and they feel really good about releasing this, you know, and that's what saddens me about it. Because um, they really feel like this is a burden that they want to get rid of and they feel good about it, you know. And I see that they, they like to one-up you. I feel like this person likes to hurt you. I feel like they like to make you feel defeated. That makes them feel good on the inside. And it's because they have a third party uh, situation going on. They have someone else in the picture. So they don't care at this point about anybody else's feelings but their own. You know, so this is a fucking evil person y'all dealing with. Honestly, y'all dealing with a fuck boy or a fuck girl. Like, y'all need to really leave them alone, okay? I'm not even going to ask what the outcome going to be. You know, I'll ask because I know y'all want to know. What's going to be the outcome between the Leos and this person? I know y'all want to know, so I'm just going to ask. All right, so basically what I'm seeing here is that one of you feels like the other one is a soulmate. One of you feels like we have such a strong bond, and I feel like, Leo, this is you. And I feel like you guys are not 100% ready to let this person go. And I feel like you're going to continue to entertain this person and it's going to end up with you being disappointed even more. And it's because this person is in self-protection mode. 
okay because i do feel like this this is a soulmate connection but we have multiple soulmates in life so you know you're not meant to be with everybody okay and i feel like they have not given to a situation because they're in self-protection mode they don't want to invest in it they rather you know protect their hearts and protect themselves than to invest in this and i feel like there's going to be um you know direct communication between the both of y'all that's gonna be like you know very cutthroat and straight to the point and i feel like it's going to be one of you deciding that you want to cut out this whole entire situation. It could even be like one of you deciding to cut the person off completely, you know, cut them out of your life. Yeah, we have the um, Ace of Pentacles reverse. So I'm not seeing a new beginning between y'all. I'm seeing like this ending. Okay, so let's see finances. How is finances for Leo's this month? How's finances for Leo this month? Okay, the will's about big changes. The sun, okay, that's great. Death reverse, okay. Three of cups. So finances doesn't actually look bad. Um, with the will being here, there is definitely some big financial changes about to take place. That is uh you know, brought to you by the divine, which is kind of out of your control. And I feel like with the sun, you know, that's a really good card. So I feel like finances are going to be looking up. Um, I feel like a lot of you are going to like, I feel like whatever these like financial um, blessings are, it will be a lot of celebration. Like a lot of you will be going out with your family and friends, socializing, parties, you know, parties, we're like around this financial blessings that you're about to get okay but i feel like with death reverse um even with these new financial blessings and like celebrating with everyone i feel like you're still somewhat going to be resisting an ending and i think this is related to this person that you're dealing with so their energy is kind of spilling into your finances so I feel like you're going to be happy financially, but you're still going to be a little sad because of this past person that you don't want to let go of. You're resisting letting them go. You're resisting this ending. You're resisting the new beginning. You're resisting this transformation that you need to go through. And the thing is, I don't want you resisting this person and it affecting your money because your money looks like it's actually going to go really good. Like you guys are about to get like a big financial blessing for real. You know, finances look really good. So just be careful with um this person allowing them to ruin it for you. Okay, so um Leo's, I'm going to end the reading here. I hope you find it helpful. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.